Ever tried sushi? If yes, then you'll know it's usually wrapped in a green, slippery thing, also known as seaweed. It's very popular in Asian cuisine. But people in other parts of the world don't eat it much. Here are some facts that will persuade you to include it in your diet. Number 1. It's good for your gut health. Up to 75% of seaweed's dry weight is pure fiber. And this is more than you can find in most fruits and veggies. Fiber helps your digestion by preventing constipation and making you feel fuller longer. Also, alginate, a substance in brown seaweed, strengthens the gut mucus that covers the gut wall. What's more, seaweed contains particular sugars that help increase the growth of good bacteria and produce short-chain fatty acids that nourish the cells lining your gut. 2. It can help you lose weight. Since seaweed is so rich in fiber, eating it can benefit those who are trying to shed a few extra pounds. As I just said, fiber slows down the digestion of food, and that's why you'll feel full longer. This can reduce your calorie intake. Besides, fucoxanthin, a pigment in brown seaweed, might reduce body fat. In a 2014 study at Newcastle University, participants ate bread with added seaweed, and it lowered their fat absorption by a third. 3. It protects your body cells. As you probably know, free radicals are bad for your health since they damage cells, cause illness, and speed up aging. Seaweed contains not only the antioxidant vitamins A, C, and E, but also flavonoids and carotenoids that are also known for protecting your body from free radicals. For example, the already mentioned fucoxanthin, which is carotenoid, protects cell membranes better than vitamin A and works 13 times better as an antioxidant than vitamin E. 4. It gives you lots of vitamins and minerals. Seaweed is rich in iron, copper, riboflavin, and many other beneficial minerals. On top of that, the protein found in spirulina and chlorella, types of seaweed I'm going to tell you all about in just a bit, has all the essential amino acids. Also, there are omega-3 fats and vitamin B12 in seaweed. So you can get much more useful nutrients just by sprinkling a bit of it on your food. 5. It keeps your hormones in balance. Seaweed is unique because it can absorb large amounts of iodine from the ocean. And without this nutrient, your thyroid gland won't be able to produce certain hormones. These hormones are very important for controlling growth, level of energy, and repairing damaged cells in your body. If your body doesn't produce enough of them, you might experience changes in weight, constant tiredness, or neck swelling. 6. It makes your heart stronger. High cholesterol is one of the main causes of heart problems. Luckily, seaweed can reduce its level. Also, there are carbohydrates called fucans in seaweed that prevent blood from excessive clotting, which is also dangerous for your heart. Studies even found that fucans can be as effective as blood thinners. 7. It keeps your blood sugar level in check. And again, I have to talk about that pigment Fucoxanthin. Japanese scientists found out that it might improve blood sugar control. This substance turned out to be especially beneficial for people who have genetic insulin resistance and are more likely to have issues with high blood sugar. There's also evidence that a substance in seaweed called alginate lowers the absorption of sugar into the bloodstream. 8. It can make your hair better. Seaweed is packed with collagen which is responsible for hair recovery and even thickness. On top of that, vitamin A and C and zinc, which you can find in some types of seaweed, can help your mane grow faster. Do you know any other foods that can help with hair growth? Let me know down in the comments. Number 9. It helps you eat healthier. Let's agree on the fact that having seaweed with a burger or french fries seems strange. It goes much better with vegetable stews, tofu, salads, and stir-fries. So by adding seaweed to your diet, you'll simply have to choose food that your body will thank you for. Now I'm sure you're planning to head to the nearest supermarket and pack your fridge with seaweed. But before you do, you shouldn't forget that too much of a good thing is a bad thing. And this ingredient is no exception. As you already know, seaweed is high in iodine. 
but the daily intake of this mineral shouldn't be more than just 1.1 grams for adults. If your body gets more than that, your thyroid gland might get bigger. Also, it can cause vomiting, nausea, diarrhea, and even skin problems. If you take any blood-thinning medications, you should avoid eating the types of seaweed that are rich in vitamin K. This vitamin might make the medications less effective. If you had kidney problems, you might experience nausea and weakness, since high levels of potassium in seaweed can't be removed from your body naturally. All in all, you should consult your doctor before adding seaweed to your diet to make sure your body can handle it. The doctor will tell you how much seaweed you can eat daily without having any side effects. Okay, finally, it's time to talk about different types of seaweed. There are seven common edible varieties. Oganori. This type is also called sea moss. It has a dark purple color, and it's usually either pickled or used in salads. This ingredient is also popular in the Caribbean and in Hawaii, where they put it in poke bowls. Besides, organori is used for the production of agar-agar, which is a vegan-friendly counterpart of gelatin. You can get organori in dried strips or powder and make jellies, puddings, and custards with it. Kombu You can get this brown seaweed in dry, wide strips. The Japanese use it as a seasoning for sushi and as the main ingredient of a clear but flavorful stock called dashi. If you find it in powdered form, then you can make yourself a cup of the trendy Japanese tea, kombucha. Nori The most recognizable type usually comes pressed into thin dried sheets of dark green or black color. It's used to make sushi rolls or as a snack. Dried or toasted nori sheets can easily become soft and mushy from moisture in the air. That's why it's better to store them in airtight containers. Wakame This seaweed is a bit sweet and has a silky texture. That's why it's perfect for salads. It's also one of the main ingredients of miso soup. Wakame is mostly sold dried and salted in vacuum packs. But keep in mind that it expands greatly in size during cooking. And if you overcook it, its texture will get slimy. Dulce This one looks a lot like red cabbage and is pretty unique because it tastes like bacon. It was first grown by researchers at Oregon State University in 2015. Since then, several small farms have been successfully cultivating it. The seaweed not only gets a meaty flavor when cooked, but also has double the nutritional value of kale. Normally, it comes in dried or holy form and sometimes in powder or seasoning mix. Sea lettuce. Dark green and leafy, it's perfect in its raw form for soups and salads. But if you decide to cook it, don't overdo it or you might end up with a slightly bitter taste. The easiest way to make your fave dish more interesting is to simply sprinkle cut-up leaves of sea lettuce on top. Umibudo It's also called sea grapes and one of the few seaweed types that are sold fresh. Umibudo is a long stem with tiny clusters of bubble-like leaves. When you eat it, the clusters burst in your mouth, just like caviar. I bet you've got only one question now. How can I actually add it to my usual dishes? Well, here are some super easy recipes to help you out. Seaweed Mayo Just add any powdered seaweed to your regular mayo and stir well. Now you have a healthier alternative to your usual spread and dips. It tastes great on sandwiches and with chips. Seaweed Smoothie You'll need 1 tablespoon of dried wakame seaweed, 1 tablespoon of flaxseed, 1 chopped frozen banana, one chopped apple, and a cup of almond milk. You can also add a few scoops of vanilla protein powder. Blend all the ingredients together and enjoy! Oatmeal with seaweed Take a saucepan and heat butter in it. Then add oats and cook until they're golden. After that, add 2 cups of water and put the lid on. When the water boils, bring the heat to low and cook for 10 to 15 minutes until the oats get tender. When it's ready, Drizzle it with soy sauce, sesame oil, sesame seeds, chopped spring onion, and parsley. In the end, crush one toasted nori sheet on top of the dish. 
Well, I'm hungry now, how about you?